Hey again, everybody. We're back, and uh, let's go inside some vents, because that's a good idea. I mean, why not, right? Also, you gotta wonder who left like the the cable. You seem to be the okay. That's good to know. Um, gonna skip that one for now. I never usually pick the first door or vent. Uh oh, something's there. I don't mean the laser beam. Oh, I hear it. Shoot it! Oh hi! You can't get me because I'm behind a shield. <laughs> I'm going to be using up a lot of ammo in this game. <laughs> Which is really bad because it's a game that you're supposed to conserve ammo. Let's see. A big, ominous, kind of entrance hallway kind of thing. Nothing bad is going to happen here. Kind of reminds me of the uh, entrance of the first Resident Evil game. What's in here? Oh. I just came from there. I should leave then. Uh, oh wait, there's an item. Yeah. And aid. Increases blah blah blah. Um, I believe that increase, like if you mix that, I believe it makes it better. I'm not sure though. It definitely does something. I just don't know what. Let's do a semi-cinematic of me walking up the stairs. Oh, cool, I can push this. This was, uh, the, I was just kind of guessing on this one. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there's an item. Another N-Aid. It'd be cool if you could uh, mix, like med kits and stuff with your bullets and you can just shoot yourself in the head and it'll heal you. Oh jeez, I remember this room. Oh hello. Let's be friends. Nope, you're dead. And there's blood, so you're dead. And apparently I can't get some shotgun bullets. Now, why aren't they called shotgun shells? This is the potency of something, something, of something. I don't understand what the volume and the level thing's all about. And, uh, like I said, I'm gonna F up the menu a lot because I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Um, bleeding. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I could bleed in this game. That's good. Yeah, see, the volume is two. Oh, I suppose that's how many. Which I guess that's good. <laughs> however, kind of, however, it seems like my inventory is pretty small, even though it seems like it wouldn't be. Oh, mix it together. Your health completely. I will take the SG bullets. Uh, nothing else. It's been ripped. Another key code pad thing. Item! Ah, uh, more anti bleeding medication. Also known as a tampon. I see a door. A communication antenna room. This spot seems kind of familiar, too. As a result of tonight's experiment, a strong magnetic storm may occur. Consequently, the communication bar will close at 6 p.m. at that time. 8159, I think that's important. Hmm. 
Mm. That code and key thing might be important. I don't know. Actually, I know it's important, but I don't know if that key and code thing are important. That's just an example, I think. Oh, yes, I remember this. I think a T-Rex says hello. Oh, of course it's locked from the other side. Oh, I hear some rustling in the trees. That's always good. Why is that spot like spotlighting itself? Hmm. Huh. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Just kind of waltz into the room. Yeah, see, he didn't bleed right there, so he was still alive. Now, that's another thing that's different from this game and Resident Evil, or a thing, I should say, is that the raptors could go through doors. Now, as to whether or not that means... Because I think there was supposed to be a raptor in here. I'm not sure if there actually was, but that might mean that the raptor in the room it came from is gone. However, this is a PS1 game, and that seems kind of technical. And there's that uh, password. We got something to upgrade our handgun. something I bet no yeah I will read the file oh oh it's just stupid stuff about the chemicals or the healing items doesn't even matter anymore one thing Capcom does really well uh, with these kind of games is the music the music's really creepy and it always makes you think something's about to jump at you. Which, you know, sometimes something is going to jump at you. Or something is in the process of jumping at you. Okay, so I think that's everywhere I can go as of right now. So let's go back into the vents and go into that vent I missed. Is he still in here? I don't hear any noises, so I don't think he is. <laughs> See, she's like a trained professional. See, if I, that was me, I would just been like, I would have just like tumbled down that, just <coughs> like sprained my neck. I'd probably break a leg. Just a big old fat white guy with a fro falls down. <laughs> this ventilation is like, oh, Joe, are you okay? Just no. I just fell from a ventilation shaft. Of course I'm not okay. Let's go into this store. I think this is our destination. I don't even know anymore. Typing. The dinosaurs learned to type. They can now check their Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> it's real amateur stuff with my block hands. Now this is one thing I don't understand. How does he not know that the dinosaurs are here? Because he got to this part. I mean, I met a few dinosaurs on the way here. And another thing is that he's got all these security cameras running. And I'm just curious as to... Why he's not seeing any dinosaurs on the security cameras. Or at least watching a dinosaur trample on top of me and drag me around like a ragdoll. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the air. That voice actor. The girl, she sounds so familiar. We can investigate that area. After we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay. Then I'll take care of the hmm. blocking the I have no you idea. In, grab the dock, and then run into the she sounds so familiar though. I mean I've heard her voice a few times now, but 
I want to go through the door. ID cards. Everything's. I mean, like, in what building? Like, at my work. Sure, like, yeah. Yeah, see, that's a big thing right there. Is that where are these things coming from? <laughs> now that means two things. Where are they, like, all actually coming from? Are they being genetically made or whatever? And then other things, where are they coming from? Like, like he's not seeing most of them on the cameras, obviously. But uh, they're actually coming through the ventilation shafts. At least that's my guess. Um, at my work, oh, blood. Uh, even though you do need a key to get in the back door, it's like, that's just so the alarm doesn't go off. You can push that door open. Yeah. Oh, well. Leo, I'm not an electronic lock. you think there'd be a dinosaur in here. Saw a guy who's been chewed up. Let's see, there's something floating over there. Files are scattered. Let's grab it, shall we? Got the code disk. Something seems to be inside the cardboard box. Hmm. Oh, I think that's for that box, like the green box I was at, right outside the control room, I think. It said it stores medicinal items, but I need plugs to use it or something. Maybe I'll check that out later. I will read the email. Okay. Alright. Okay, none of that seemed useful at all. That's good. Sure. Is this how you save the game in this game? Is by going out the store? Well, that's inconvenient. I wish it was a typewriter. And you had to have ink ribbons. No, oh, I really hope it wasn't that. But just something like you can go to, not necessarily a door. Speaking of door, look at that door, man. That door is just covered in blood. Green. Yeah, that's something I love about these doors that you can turn on and off, is that whenever I pass one, I always turn the laser beam back on, so that way I can stay safe. Just in case if the next time I go in there, if there's something alive, I'll be alive too. Or healing items. Yeah, that item, the dart, that's not all that important. I saw it earlier, or not earlier, but um, pretty much all that does, it's a, it's a trank dart, pretty much. So you shoot a dinosaur, I don't know if it's a one-hit thing, though. I don't think it would be, which would make it even more useless. But uh, you trank them and they fall asleep, and then... It doesn't last forever. I think maybe if you leave and then come back, they'll be back on their feet. Okay, so I got the code in the um, key for one of the two doors that are locked. I don't know which one, but I'm going to try the upstairs one because I can. No, oh, something's in here. Cool. Why is there always something in here? Well, he fell on the ground. He's still alive. Is he dead now? I can't tell. Well, he must be dead. Oh, hi, dead. Okay, I will set the... Whoa. What? Yeah. I'll input that password. Oh, well, that's stupid. Okay. I'll leave and figure this out. There's like a book or something over here that explained it. I'm gonna figure this out in the next one. Okay, peoples? I'll see you later.